everyone uh, here in today's video. Oh, not today. I should say tonight's video because it's already the evening here. Uh, in this video here, I would like to talk about different methodologies. Now, lately I've been getting a lot of questions. People asking me which, which is the best methodology. Do I consider my methodology the best? Uh, better than this methodology? I don't think, uh, honestly, I don't, I don't think there is a best methodology. I will always recommend others to use different methodologies, just kind of, you know, move around, you know, say, okay, I'm going to use this in conjunction with this other methodology and whatnot. So I wouldn't really tell people that my methodology is the best or this guy's methodology is the best. So, um, yeah, I have here listed some methodologies here I, I, thought, of, I thought about before I listed them, I wanted to make sure I, ha I have all the methodologies listed here and I, hopefully I haven't forgotten, forgotten any. If I have, I will put those up on the, um, in a video with the subtitle. So these are, this, these are the methodologies that I'm aware of and the ones I put red stars by, those are the ones I've never tried. Now I've read about them, I've seen some videos on them, but I've never actually tried uh, these methodologies okay so I'll start from the top so we have Pimsler we have Rosetta Stone I see me we have Michelle Thomas we have teach yourself the gold method uh, link uh, FLR shadowing and the living living language now the gold methodology I didn't put his name um, I always forget that guy's name his um, I can't remember the guy's name. I'll I have to go back and look at his name and I'll put it up there in this using the subtitle. So can't remember his name, but you guys probably heard of his technique, his method, the gold method, and link of Steve Kaufman and of course FLR, foreign language or runs road running, the methodology I use. Um, and shadowing by Professor Argelius and Living Languages. This is like a, pretty much like a phrase book. Phrase book with um, a bunch of phrases with audio was very good. So um, Pimsler, we all know Pimsler. I think Pimsler is very very good, especially for those who are just starting off in the language. Um, as far as they want to know how how to pronounce certain words, they want to listen. So Pimsler gets you started on like speaking, actually speaking the language, and the listening comprehension. So you learn how to actually enunciate certain words so I think Pimsler is very good and like like I showed you guys before I have Pimsler I have a whole bunch of Pimsler courses so I'm a fan of Pimsler myself okay I love Pimsler okay so Pimsler is good I would recommend you guys to get Pimsler in whatever language you're, you're wanting to learn definitely try Pimsler out it will, you won't be disappointed Pimsler is good okay so, um, yeah, I would try Pimsler. I would definitely get Pimsler because, like I said, it gets you started on um, speaking a language and you get to listen and hear how it's actually enunciated. So, definitely Pimsler. I would recommend Pimsler, okay? Um, let's see. Rosetta Stone. Now, I know I've said some pretty negative things about Rosetta Stone, but it's just the reality of it. Um, the way they portray Rosetta Stone in the media, they make it seem like you're going to be fluent and you're going to actually be fluent in the language by using Rosetta Stone. That That's not going to happen. Now, I could say that Rosetta Stone is good for vocabulary. If you're the type of person, if you're the type of person who likes the uh, repetition vocabulary, then you may like Rosetta Stone. But if you're not looking to gain any type of fluency in the language, you have to use other resources in conjunction with Rosetta Stone. That's just the reality of it. You have to. I wouldn't just get Rosetta Stone and just use it by itself. You know, a lot of people are naive. There are a lot of naive people out there. They really, they actually believe that if they get this Rosetta Stone program, it's, it's going to help them to attain, you know, fluency in the language, and that's not going to happen. A lot of people lately have been asking me, hey man, um, do you think I should continue to use Rosetta Stone? I have Rosetta, Rosetta Stone, and I've been using it. I always tell them, no, you, if you want to use Rosetta Stone, I mean, you can use Rosetta Stone, okay, I'm not saying, like, get rid of it, you can use it, but just make sure you 
using that in conjunction with some other some other courses or it's, it's just inadequate to attain fluency in any language by using Rosetta Stone okay so yeah you can use Rosetta Stone but like I said make sure you have another course okay another course that's going to um, help you build fluency now we know that Rosetta Stone is very 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 expensive so if you buy Rosetta Stone which would be, be which would be like what 500 bucks and then go out and buy some other resources I mean, you're gonna spend you're gonna spend over 500 bucks. So it all depends on you. If you have the money, that's great. You can do it. But just remember, if you use Rosetta Stone, get some other programs. Okay. So let's see here. So Rosetta Stone, I see Mill. I was just introduced to I see Mill recently through um, Professor Argelia's videos. I didn't know about I, I see Mill before I watched his videos and um, I think IC Meal is good. I had bought IC Meal for Japanese. I kinda I didn't go through the whole course but I listened to like the audio for a few chapters and I think it's really good. They start off they pronounce things slow. So, you know and they have like the um, the, the script and all that with pictures and stuff. It's really good. IC Meal is good. So a lot many of you have probably heard of IC Meal but I'm sure there are others who haven't heard about I see meal, so definitely I see meal was worth buying. They're pretty expensive, but I think they're worth buying. Okay, it has lots of content and it will help you to attain, attain some fluency in that, in that in whatever language you're trying to learn. Now, Michelle Thomas, I've never tried Michelle Thomas. I've I've seen people talk about Michelle Thomas. I've seen some books over on Uzi translation, but I've I've yet to actually try um, try this methodology. Okay. But despite not having trying that his methodology, I would I will suggest you guys to just give it a shot. I won't just say, oh, you know what, I'm not going to try. I'm going to stick with, be open and go try other methodologies. So definitely check out Michelle Thomas there. Uh, Teach yourself, my favorite. I love Teach Yourself. Teach Yourself is great. I love Teach Yourself. And as you guys seen, as you guys seen. I have teach yourself. I have a whole bunch of teach yourselves, and like I told you, teach yourself will it, it, this this here, okay? It will get you on a good level. Uh, like I would say, intermediate. At the, by the end of the book, you'll be on the intermediate level, just from this book itself, okay? I will rec definitely recommend getting this, uh, uh, getting a teach yourself because they, you know, they have the audio and a lot of content here. And you have some exercises. If you guys like to do those exercises, you can do those. So definitely teach yourself. Those of you who have never heard of Teach Yourself, trust me, you won't be disappointed. Teach Yourself is good. Okay, it will help you. Now, I know uh, if you start, some Teach Yourself, they start on Chapter 1. The content is kind of, um, it's like, uh, I don't know, like some, some Teach Yourself, they start talking about coffee and all that good stuff. I mean, this stuff is good to learn, but right at the beginning, it's not its not really that good to start learning stuff about coffee. You want to get to, like, the real stuff, and then later on. So, you, what I'm saying here is you may have to, like, flip around in the, in the Teach Yourself. But overall, it's a good book, a good series, and I would recommend it. Okay? What else we have? We have the gold method. Now, this is this this gold method here. I've never tried it. Now, I, I, like I said, I've seen people talk about it. I think it has something to do with uh, vocabulary repetition. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't want to um, say some things about it. I don't know, since you know, since I haven't tried it. So, yeah, the gold method. I will look more into it and try it out and see. But you guys should check it out. So, we have a link. Steve Kaufman. Yeah, Steve Kaufman. I've talked a lot about him. He his site is very good. Link. He has a lot of his his method is based on a lot of input, and we know input is very important for language learning. I like his methodology. You you listen, you listen, 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 read, listen, read. It's based. It's just pretty much listening and reading, and that's a lot. That's 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 a very important learning for a language. You see, like. I think that was one of actually yeah that was one of my problems when I first started learning language when I first started learning languages uh, Chinese Japanese I start when I first started learning Chinese I didn't really had a lot of input a lot of the input like this listening and reading stuff I didn't use that I didn't do enough of this listening and reading basically just kind of I learned stuff and then one straight out start speaking 
I started speaking right away and I just learned a lot of stuff through experience. But I think this listening and reading is very important. So Steve Kaufman has a good site and link and a lot of good content. And it just it's just great. I, I would just recommend you guys to check that out. Okay. And then we have FLR, Foreign Language Road Running. This is a methodology I came out with. Um, it's, it's, I will say this, this FLR is really good for beginners who have, like those of you who are beginners, never studied language, probably studied language in school, but you guys have never studied language independently and you don't know how to go about learning languages. The FLR, this FLR technique will help you. It, it, basically, it, it basically builds a strong foundation for those beginners. And it keeps you on the right path. Once you get a strong foundation in the language, especially the, the basics and whatnot, I mean, you could take off. So it's 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 a really good method to use. And yeah, I have posted videos about that. You guys can just probably go to type just type in FLR technique, and you'll be able to find my videos on that. So yeah, this is a, this will be very good for those of you who are beginning the language. Even even for those who are like advanced in other languages, if they're advanced in other languages. They can actually try to use this 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 FLR and it will work for them, because like I said, starting off it, it just it's like they're like four steps you need to take. So yeah, FLR is good for the beginners. Okay, so um, shadowing uh, by Professor Argelius. I've never tried shadowing before. Like I said, I watched this video and I thought it was very interesting. Uh, the shadowing technique, and I think that I think that will be very beneficial. Like you know, you say certain things to yourself. I think it's um, very interesting how he came about this uh, shadowing technique. So, um, I've, like I said, I've never tried it. I've never tried it, but I will look. I will advise you guys to look into it, and you can try it yourselves if you're not um, scared to do stuff like that, <laughs> or if you don't if you don't think it's weird. But I, I think it's very interesting that he that he uh, came up with this technique. All right, and then living language, uh, basically phrase books with uh, phrase book with phrases, and this I my first my very first living language uh, course was for Russian, basically phrases. I just learned a bunch of phrases. I learned like some phrases, and I learned how to greet people, and just kind of learn things like just memorize phrases. I know grammar. There's no grammar here. It's just basically all phrases with audio, so you just listen to the audio listen to it listen to it and you use it in a real context so i think living language is very good and i always recommend you guys to get phrase books phrase books the um what are they called let's see lonely planet phrase books i'll get one for you uh let's see which one so yeah we have, we have lonely planet phrase books here i will always recommend you guys to get a phrase book Okay, phrase books are very good, and you you will see why I say phrase books are good when you go to the FLR technique. You want to see that. This is this is this is why I recommend the um, phrase books. Now, um, the living language is basically a phrase book. All it is is a, it's a thicker phrase book, a thicker phrase book with audio, and it just a lot of phrases. Now they have some grammar stuff, like just a little bit, but not. A whole lot like uh, I think there's like more I think there's like more grammar stuff in teach yourself than than um, living language so um, yeah uh, yeah I think living language is good so yeah essentially what you want to do those of you uh, starting off learning language I was like I said you can use all these techniques you can put them together for example if you decide to you know, let's take FLR for example. If you start off with FLR, because see in FLR, I don't really, um, there's not really a whole bunch of listening or reading there. It's just basically showing you the words and the, the words you need to be learning. So ideally, I would say probably take FLR and then learn, and um, you take FLR, you could use perhaps Pimsler. You could use Pimsler and Rosetta Stone, like just listen to the, you know, for the, um, vocabulary or just listen to PEMS or getting you know listen to that pronunciation and whatnot so you could do that you can kind of use FLR along with Pemsler or FLR along with Rosetta Stone or like I don't know about Michelle Thomas um, teach yourself you can kind of mix them up so um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I hope I haven't forgotten any other methodologies. These are the only methodologies that I'm aware of for now. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, link. Yeah, so content, because, you know, he's about content. So, eventually, you're going to have to do a lot of, see, FLR doesn't really teach you um, like the re the reading and writing. So once you get a strong foundation in language, you're gonna have to go take it further, and you're gonna have to start reading, or reading, listening, or reading. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I'm gonna conclude this video here. Let me know what you guys think. And like I said, if I forgot any other methodologies, I would just use the subtitles and put them up there. And I have to look for this guy's name. I cannot remember his name for the gold method. I have to I have to look for his name. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, and uh, thank, thank you guys for viewing, and I look forward to your comments. Thanks for viewing.